Tourism is the lifeblood of Jamaica, and you are at the heart of it. Since the establishment of the Jamaica Tourist Board in 1955, we've been welcoming visitors to our beautiful shores season after season. Today, we're standing ready to welcome you with our warm Jamaican hospitality, where your family and friends can safely enjoy the many splendors of our nation. From hiking our majestic blue mountains, exploring hidden caves and cascading waterfalls, rafting meandering lazy rivers, or plunging into the azure blue waters off our relaxing beaches, Jamaica has something wonderful for everyone. There is adventure in our blood, romance in our heart, music in our soul, good food in our belly, and mellow vibes all around. You don't want to miss these life-changing experiences. It's time to visit Jamaica, heartbeat of the world. Come on, we're waiting for you. Tourism is the lifeblood of Jamaica, and you are at the heart of it. Since the establishment of the Jamaica Tourist Board in 1955, we've been welcoming visitors to our beautiful shores season after season. Today, we're standing ready to welcome you with our warm Jamaican hospitality, where your family and friends can safely enjoy the many splendors of our nation. From hiking our majestic blue mountains, exploring hidden caves and cascading waterfalls, rafting meandering lazy rivers, or plunging into the azure blue waters off our relaxing beaches, Jamaica has something wonderful for everyone. There is adventure in our blood, romance in our heart, music in our soul, good food in our belly, and mellow vibes all around. You don't want to miss these life-changing experiences. It's time to visit Jamaica, heartbeat of the world. Come on, we're waiting. Good day, everyone. Welcome to the 2022 edition of Jamaica Virtual Vibes. I hope we have found you in good health and strength. We are here. We're restarting a very exciting online interactive segment. I know you enjoyed last year, and thanks for joining us again. I'm your host, Shanika Ramsey. I'm going to pass you over to the team so they can introduce themselves. Hello, everyone. This is your girl, Paula. Greetings from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Happiest of New Year to each and every one of you. So good to see the faces and the names on the screen. Good to be back again. I really hope that you will enjoy your company and enjoy the show today. Hi, everyone, and Happy New Year. Happy selling. Um, happy peaks. Um, I'm Elizabeth Fox, Regional Director of Jamaica Tourist Board. Good to see you back. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny. Um, thank you for joining us today and a Happy New Year um, to all of you. Happy New Year everyone, Donovan Donaldson here, your BDO for the Southern Area. Happy to see you guys with us again today and what we will have the start of a very fun and interesting series of Jamaica Vibes. See you again later. Hi everyone, Afia here at Doctors Cave Beach and definitely welcome back everyone and happy new year again. It's an amazing new year. There's a lot of things in store for Jamaica and we just can't wait to give you all that information. Over to you, Shanika. So Afia just had to start the year teasing us with our wonderful backdrop. But let's hear why you can book Jamaica for your clients and why they should consider Jamaica as the preferred destination. I'm going to have our regional director bring a message to you and speak about the latest, Liz. Um, yes, well, I guess you all know why to book Jamaica, of course. Um, well, the good news is the protocols for vaccinated passengers have not changed. You do still get to need to get an antigen test to go to Jamaica. But the great news is you don't need to get a test to come back unless, of course, you're not vaccinated. And um, I think from the 11th of February, there'll be no tests now on, on the um, 
on the day two upon return. So the only thing you need to do if you're vaccinated to go to Jamaica is fill out um, a passenger locator form coming back to the UK, no testing, which is great. And the good news is we just got our numbers in for November and a whopping 15,000 people from the UK came over to Jamaica in November, which is excellent. I was absolutely thrilled to see. We're back in business. Thank you for your business. Keep on selling. Everybody's going to Jamaica and having a great time and coming back and feeling refreshed. So it's good for everybody's mental health. So keep up the good work. Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you, Liz. And speaking of mental health, we will be rolling out a health and wellness initiative later this year. So look forward to it. We hope you all join it. And I don't know if it's anyone New Year resolution to be healthy, to be fit, to be in the right frame of mind. Let us know in the chat what your New Year resolution is for this year. Or you can, if you feel free to open your cameras and share with us, please feel free to do so. Today is very, going to be quite easy going and we want it to be as interactive as possible. And just to show you how Paula will start her morning in office or just generally on the weekend, she has a great tip for you on how to start your mornings right and healthy. Right, Paula? Let's hear what she has to share. Hello, everyone. Welcome. The Spirited Report it takes you to church today. It's January. The year is still new. And so we'll just continue to pretend that we'll have tea and green juices all year. Today we're having green tea. Green tea is a healthy drink that hydrates and soothes the soul. This drink does even more good than you may know. It contains ingredients that are good for the body in more ways than one. I invite you to give this green tea with a twist a try. It's lemon ginger green tea or iced tea if you prefer. It definitely has a superior health benefits with the zingy flavor of ginger plus the refreshing citrus taste of lemon. And in about six minutes or less, you can have your lemon ginger green tea or iced tea. First of all, you gather all your ingredients together. One tablespoon of green tea and whichever green tea you, you prefer to use. Two slices of lemon, a piece of ginger, or as a substitute for those, lemon ginger simple syrup, which you would have had to prepare in advance. And a cup of ice if you're making iced tea. You gather all your ingredients, steep the tea for three minutes in some hot water. Strain and add lemon ginger simple syrup. And voila, your lemon ginger green tea is served hot or poured over ice. And that is a healthy option to start the new year. Nice, easy and slow. Thank you. And to go with that really, really nice, refreshing start to the morning, we'll have Donovan cook up a storm in the kitchen or resident chef himself. Donovan, you want to tell us more? Uh, hi, I will be cooking today, but I will be sharing with you a clip from Smile Jamaica, which is the breakfast TV program in Jamaica. A lot of us make resolutions each year. We start the year healthy. And let's see how many of us can keep the healthy theme going through this year. So what I'm going to share with you today is a clip from uh, Breakfast. It's called Smile Jamaica Breakfast Program in Jamaica. And it's a stir fry. Uh, quick questions that are always asked. You're going to have all the vegetables, your protein added. The cauliflower looks a bit yellow. And to answer that question before you see it, it was actually blanched with turmeric in the water. So it gives that yellow color and of course gives an addition flavor to the flavors that you're gonna have. So enjoy, you can leave the meat out, you can substitute it with seafoods, uh, 
uh, tofu or just have straight vegetables if you like. So let's see the film and let's hope that we can start the year off on a healthy, on a healthy um, mood and continue and let's see how long we can keep that resolution going. And I see where Michael Atkinson is saying that his resolution is to visit Jamaica. So we totally agree. With that. I think that's everybody's resolution here today. So let's have a look at healthy meal choice. Certified executive chef Simone Walker by And she's going to prepare a heart healthy dish for us with the other white meat. So the first white meat is chicken. The other one is pork, of course. Pork, of course. Morning. Good morning. Welcome once again. Thank you for having me. All right, talk us through what So you I'm going to be showing you how to, you know, we're going into that season where everybody feel a little more health conscious. You want to get off carbs. So if you're tired of chicken, we have the other white meat, which is pork. And this morning I'm using the very, very tender cut. It's called pork tenderloin. This is easy to find in any supermarket. So this dish is going to take like three minutes. So we're doing pork for our protein. Three minutes from start to finish. Yeah. But this is after. This is, not the meat, this is know, after. So I got mine cut up already. I have some seasoning on it, just a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. I have sweet pepper, onion, and celery, pop mm -hmm. choy, easy mm -hmm. to find, some some cauliflower, and some string beans. Everything I'm using is very, very easy to find. White cauliflower. Look so yellow. white look yellow. <laughs> I'll tell you off air, white look yellow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, normally look yellow. Yeah, that's that's correct. So our pot now is nice and hot. When you're doing a stir fry, you want to make sure that the, the pot is hot. So before in here, even, before even yes, we have here. some vegetable oil. So I'm just going to add the pork pieces. And we're hearing that sizzle. That's what I want to hear. Now, a lot of time people think that pork is red meat. It's not. It's white meat. And depending on the cut of pork, like this one, this is pork tenderloin. So this cook literally in the same time that a chicken breast would take to cook. So it cooks very easy. They don't look right, do they? Well, when it, after it cooks, it's because of the seasoning that is on it, make it look a little pinkish. <laughs> so in this pot, yeah. just to move it along, I'm adding a little bit more oil and then I'm going to start adding the vegetables. Right. So I'm adding some so bell peppers. I don't put everything in the same pot. I will, but I don't want to run out of time. So this is my plan to make sure that okay. I get the dish ready for you. I know the television. Yes. Hey. So we're just going to move but, this but around. But you could just put everything. You, that's, you could just that's put what everything. Stir fry kind yes. of good, huh? So normally we would just put the meat in and just get it cooked halfway and then we add everything else to that. Right. So I'm just kind of moving it along by doing it in two parts. Yeah. Now this is easy if you don't want to eat any carbs. If you don't eat pork, you can eat chicken. If you don't eat meat, you can do this with shrimp. Uh, if you don't eat any meat at all, any seafood, you can just do this as with just the vegetables and maybe some nuts. So this is almost ready. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some flavor. This is some garlic mm -hmm. and some scotch bonnet pepper. Just move that around. And as soon as you add the garlic and pepper, you can start smelling that, you know, smelling it, that deliciousness. We're going to add some pop choy in. And then we're going to add our cauliflower, and, cauliflower beans. and green beans and we're just going to put this right back i know it's our stir fry and now it is our stir fry yeah, so man. this was my little insurance policy just to make sure that it finished on that time. it finished on time this is fermented black beans this is where we're going to get our flavor from and this is a little light soy and I'm over here, yes, so as opposed to dark soy, the dark okay. soy make the vegetables look brown. Okay. We want to keep their color. And this is some oyster sauce right here. So this is where we're going to be getting the predominant flavor. And in here is just a little bit of Chinese cooking wine. And then we're going to combine Chinese cooking wine. Chinese cooking wine, you can find that in the Chinese section of the supermarket. Yeah, but the, but it, it has to be that kind of wine. It's better based on where we're going with the flavor profile. is done and done one other little trick what i did was to blanch the vegetables ahead of time so when you go to the store you can just bring your vegetables to a boil after you prep them and cool them down and just put them in the fridge so when you come home this is easy so our stir fry is ready ready to go ready ready to go yeah. uh and isn't this beautiful it is I if you're this. into eating carbs you could have this with some noodles you can also have this with quinoa you can have this with rice 
Uh, so, but today we're just, we're, we're off carbs today, so we're just having vegetables and protein. And it's quick and easy. It's very quick and easy. So we're going to plate now. We're going to put this into our plate. And then we're going to eat some pork. Mm. So we're going to share out we don't work. the serving for Neville. Make sure we have a little bit of all the veggies. Chef, you eat pork? Yes, I do. No, no, Chef, you eat Oh, okay. And just get some green veg <laughs> on there. Him say no man, the man live man, the man work pork man. Richard and eat that pork. that is that. And this could serve a family of four easily. Yeah. Or if not, you could just have two days lunch and two days dinner no out man. of it. Family of four, Sheffield, Clive, <laughs> Odin. No, I'm gonna take everybody. everybody and this is what our stir, yeah, stir fry looks like. Yes, we have a little fork we're here. Ready. We're ready. And we're ready. you can use whatever vegetables that are available to you. Uh, today I choose these because these were available to me. But if you're just into cabbage, it could have just been cabbage. It could have been with bell peppers. It could be <coughs> broccoli. Anything you want. Green beans are always inexpensive and in the market. So too is pop choy. So you can choose your vegetables. Yeah, man. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, you will be hearing more from us in terms of keeping healthy, getting great recipes. So stay tuned, keep an eye out for our health and wellness campaign. And Donovan, I do agree, the yellow did make it seem a little bit more colorful and, and really enjoyable. Fantastic flavor and of course, more color to the dish. Definitely, definitely. So, we're going to go to our adventure lady right now who is in Jamaica. She's going to take us on a little journey. Tell us all about Jamaica right now. Afia? Hey, everyone. I am here on this pier, and there's all of these colorful fish. I'm not, see if you, I'm not sure if you can see their colors, but I have my own little personal aquarium right now <laughs> on the dark side. Um, but the view is just amazingly beautiful <laughs> right here this spot is really where you can see a lot of the planes coming in and there's two catamarans and some persons just snorkeling so i just wanted to show you what my view is like right now i mean it is just spectacular and i wanted to tease you because i know it's still cold in the uk and i wanted to remind you that we have all of 16 flights coming out of the uk um all of 16 flights coming out of the uk so there's so much for so many options for you to come to Jamaica. So many things for you to do in Jamaica. Hanging out at the beach is just one of the things that you can do while you're here. I mean, throughout the time that you've been checking into virtual vibes, I've shown you some of the things that you can do, some of the vast array of attractions, and of course, and of course, some of the vast array of hotels, um, accommodations that you have to choose from, be that villas, be that boutique or all-inclusive hotels. So it's all here for you in Jamaica with our warm smells, our culture, our amazing food and drinks that Paula keeps on showing off each week. We're just excited to welcome you back to our island. And again, I'll have 16 flights coming from the UK each week to Jamaica. So you have a lot of options. It's pretty, pretty easy to get here. Just pack your suitcases and we're here to welcome you. And so if it's just relaxing, sitting down on a raft, and relaxing with your loved ones, coming here with your family. It's a girl's trip, or you just want to get away on your own. Jamaica has it all from, for you, from the west to the east, the north and the south of the island, and all our six resort areas. So I can't wait for you to come to Jamaica. And if it's your first time, can't wait to welcome you here. This will be your home away from home. And if you've been here before, can't wait to welcome you again back home. So Shanika, that's all I have to say. I'm just enjoying this view. There are planes flying in. There's a cruise ship <laughs> as well on, on, on the pier. So it's a lot. It's a lot going on right now. And we can't wait to welcome you. Thanks so much, Afia. And yes, thanks for teasing us again on <laughs> the background. You know, I You're welcome. It <laughs> is saying that she can't wait to try some Jamaican food next week. Um, Daryl is saying that the, the food just now looks yummy. Um, Joanne is saying she's hungry. Chrissy's saying, oh, a smelly vision looks great. You know, Sam is saying that she skipped lunch and her mouth is watering. And Sam has never been to Jamaica. Hopefully, Sam, you'll get a chance. We do have, you know, lots of opportunities coming up to experience Jamaica 
do go on to our Jamaica Rewards page. There's a fam trip form that you can fill out. So as soon as the fam trip dates are confirmed and we can start heading off to Jamaica to have Afia show you all around, teach you some dance moves, we will be doing that. So head on to jamaicarewards.co.uk and sign up on that form. And as Afia mentioned, a lot is happening in Jamaica this year. You know, it's an extra special year for us. And Donovan, do you just want to explain why that is? Yes. So many people know that we like a party in Jamaica. And in 1962, Jamaica gained its independence from the United Kingdom. Uh, that makes it 60 years this year. And wow, we have a lot of partying to do. 60 years worth of partying over the years. We do celebrate our independence quite big in Jamaica. But what we're doing this year is starting the celebration early. And it will take one entire year to celebrate our 60th anniversary of independence. Uh, independence is actually in August. But we decided we're not going to wait till August to start celebrating. We're celebrating now. So we have planned, or we are in the stage of planning, a series of exciting activities, palm trips, and uh, road shows. And I'm going to hand over to Shanika to tell you a little bit more of these in detail. Over to you, Shanika. Thanks, Donovan. So yes, we do have lots happening. We are celebrating our 60th, so we do have a campaign, which is 6460. So between now and the 1st of March, if you log your Jamaica bookings on jamaicarewards.co.uk, you are in for a great reward. It's 60 pounds for 60 of our value travel agents. So you can all earn 60 pounds just by logging your Jamaica booking on jamaicarewards.co.uk. We also have our diamond fam trips planned for this year throughout 2022. So 60 fam trip places. Imagine being in Jamaica, experiencing what Afia is experiencing right now. We have 60 places this year in celebration of our 60th independence. So do go over and sign up that form. Let us know that you're interested. Let us see those bookings coming in. Keep communicating with us and show us that yes, you are committed to selling Jamaica and you want to learn more about the destination. We also have different and separate and apart from our 60th anniversary, next month is our Reggae Month in Jamaica or Romance Month in Jamaica. So for Reggae Month, I will let our regional director just speak to a competition that we will be doing, which is our One Love Bob Marley experience. However, for virtual vibes, we will be having a segment on the 9th of February, which is a romance webinar. One lucky winner will have a chance to win a dinner for two. So stay tuned for that. On the 9th of February, it's a Valentine's romance experience on Jamaica Virtual Vibes. You can win yourself a dinner for two. On the 23rd of February, we will have a reggae quiz in celebration of reggae month. So Look out for those invitations to join us soon on Reggae Mon. Um, it's lots happening. It's Bob Marley's birthday in, all, in February as well. So can you just imagine the excitement that's happening this year? We're glad you're a part of it. Liz, do you want to just tell them more about the One Love experience? Um, yeah, thanks for mentioning that, Shanika. Um, Jamaica, first of all, is very excited to be sponsoring the uh, One Love exhibition, which is the Bob Marley One Love interactive exhibition, which will be starting at the Saatchi Gallery on the 2nd of February. Um, the Saatchi Gallery down on Sloan, um, off Sloan Square in London. Um, it is um, an interactive exhibition. It will be running for 12 weeks um, and it will be very much an immersive experience. Uh, there will be seven zones, uh, one dedicated to music, culture, uh, his passions, which mostly is football. Um, there'll be a silent disco listening to his music. Um, there will be um, something on raster culture. There will be a street art zone. Um, and uh, talk of the Marley Foundation. There'll also be a One Love Tree where 
people can write notes and put them on the tree of what, what one love means to them. Um, and there will also be a retail zone. It's, it, it looks like it's going to be very, very good. Um, we're delighted to be a sponsor and we will be running a competition to everyone who goes um, to win a holiday, seven night holiday, all inclusive luxury holiday to Jamaica, staying at couples resorts. So if you're in London, look out for that, go online and get some tickets and go and visit. And I think Shanika, we will be running a travel agent competition to win some tickets um, very shortly. So stay tuned about on that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Liz. So you heard it, so much is happening this year. I saw where Carol is also asking in regards to our birthday celebrations, which is a hashtag celebrate with us. Last year, we ran that competition and our celebration with H10, Ocean Coral Spring Resorts in Jamaica. This year, yes, we are restarting, but we want to just extend it and give you more um, of Jamaica. So we're reaching out to our hotel partners. We're hoping that we get quite a few of our hotel partners on board so you can experience the many accommodation and um, experiences. It's promised to be really, really great. So if you're celebrating your birthday throughout the year from February onto December, email Jenny. Jenny, if you can just put your email address in the chat, just email Jenny what month you're celebrating your birthday, what agency and all the details. Jenny will get in touch with you and you'll be a part of our celebration. So our birthday celebrate with us or 6460 campaign or reggae month initiative or diamond farm trips celebrating 60 years of independence and yes, or health and wellness as we kick started today. All that's happening in 2022. So stay tuned, be in contact with us, look out for our invitation for our next virtual vibes webinar, which is the 9th of February. And you have our contact details if you want to get in contact with any of us, if you want to have us assist you in terms of planning promotions or in-store activities, things to do with your consumers, in-store, let us know. Both Donovan and myself will be here to assist you as much as we can. And be safe, everyone. Until then, have a wonderful day. I'll just play a video to take us out and keep you inspired on Jamaica. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Tourism is the lifeblood of Jamaica, and you are at the heart of it. Since the establishment of the Jamaica Tourist Board in 1955, we've been welcoming visitors to our beautiful shores season after season. Today, we're standing ready to welcome you with our warm Jamaican hospitality, where your family and friends can safely enjoy the many splendors of our nation. From hiking our majestic blue mountains, exploring hidden caves and cascading waterfalls, rafting meandering lazy rivers, or plunging into the azure blue waters off our relaxing beaches, Jamaica has something wonderful for everyone. There is adventure in our blood, romance in our heart, music in our soul, good food in our belly, and mellow vibes all around. You don't want to miss these life-changing experiences. It's time to visit Jamaica, heartbeat of the world. Come on, we're waiting for you.